Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome to Cities XXL, which is ironically a Cities building game. My name is Zuljin and I'm going to be doing a first impressions video for you guys today on Cities XXL. Uh, city building games aren't exactly something that I usually do on this channel, but this one looked really, really good. I've seen uh, Corrales play Cities XL before and a bunch of my other friends on YouTube actually do a lot of city building games like Banished and things. And I think this one looks really, really nice. So I'd like to show it to you today to give you your own opinion about the game. So I've already played a little bit in the tutorial. We're going to go ahead and select play here and load up a little world. I already tried a map a little bit earlier and uh, it turned out to be a pretty rough map. Um, what I need to start is something on the lowest difficulty possible just so it's a little bit more flat. And I'm going to go ahead and start with smoke on the water, which is the map selection for this. And we're going to create our own city. I created Vilplat, which is my hometown. We're going to create Cobbleton, which is the fantasy city that I created in Minecraft for my first Minecraft world. So let's go ahead and click OK and it's going to load up and we should get a view here. So the idea for this is just to build and manage a city. It's the graphics are relatively good and unfortunately the music as beautiful as it is I wasn't sure that I could publish it on this video due to copyright so I decided to stay away from that. All right so what we need to do is we need to make a road extending from uh, probably the bottom of the map or somewhere near where there's water. We could zoom out all the way and we have various camera controls that you can see in the little options menu here. Uh, let's see. What we're going to do is we're going to start, I guess we're going to start here. That's probably the best play to, place to go. And let's zoom in here. And the, the zoom is absolutely outrageous. Like you could get on the level to where you'll see people interacting and stuff. We're going to hit the transportation tab. We're going to select roads and we're going to select a regular road here. We're going to start it right here and where the purple area, you'll see that all this purple area is to interconnect it with other cities, which you can join up later on and manage, which is a pretty cool feature, I think. So I think right around the middle right here is where we're going to choose and we'll zoom in and see where we want to go with this. I'm thinking that this is probably going to be, it seems like I can't go perfectly straight here. I guess this will be as good as any. All right. And we'll just make a little hook here to make a corner and I think we'll be fine with that. We'll zoom in and we'll click one time to finalize it. And there's our first road. Yes. Okay. City services. We're going to start off with making a town hall. And this is going to be what attracts people to the city. First of all, we'll have to build some residential areas and things of that nature. We're going to put town hall right on the corner. It's going to take a few seconds to build here. And as you can see, we have a utilities menu that opened up as well. Uh, the first thing that we could build is the technical services. And this is it shows you the construction costs, which at the top left, you'll see our budget. We have like 396 K right now. It's crazy. But this it produces electricity. Electricity, water, fuel, waste, city, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, and the production, it also produces waste. Okay, um, and the range is in this, the entire city, and efficiency is low. So there'll be some other options that unlock as you go when you get like certain amounts of citizens, you'll see the prerequisites and the statistics uh, that you'll need to actually construct these things. So let's go ahead and select this for now. And um, this creates a little bit of a uh, of, of waste. So we're going to put that a little bit further out from the town hall here. I don't really know the scale of distance yet, uh, but I guess that's something that you learn as you go. Okay. So now we can create a few other things. There's decorations, there's utilities. We've already did that city services. The only thing that we still have available is town hall. So we probably just want a few people in here. Um, so there's, there's not much city. So we're only going to attract unskilled workers right now. And we can select a different, a few different types of zones. Free zone is kind of like a draw the zone type deal. Single zone is something very small. Linear zones or as they see, as long as the, uh, well, apparently I got a couple of achievements you reach step one of transportation capacity capacity achievement okay great so residents linear zones would start off with like this and you can you can bypass you can you can select a linear spot to just add houses so we don't have much commerce yet let's just do a small linear zone at this point and we'll go ahead and click to confirm and let's get on this level and see exactly how this looks from this point um, it looks like Let's see some very, very small low in housing right here, um, but pretty neat. Something that <laughs> something that Cobbleton would probably look like. And you'll see shops are needed now. So these people need somewhere to work. Uh, let's look at commerce. 
Commerce has a few things available. We can do square retail zones, uh, free retail zones, simple retail zones. Um, this is probably the best thing. Low density. There's hotels as well. Let's go ahead and build the square zone shopping center right here. And let's see if we build it here. No, nope, that's going to be a little bit too small. Let's build it. Let's start it here. Oh, that one, that's so big for the amount of houses that we have. But we have the money. Let's just do it. So there's going to be a lot of shops available for this residential zone. So let's do one more set of housing here. And then we'll actually get some industry going as well. Let's see. Housing. And let's do, let's do a square zone here. Or I'll show you how to do the free zones, actually. So the free zones are actually kind of cool. Let's start it off here. We'll start off in the corner here. We're going to make this jet out right here. And we're going to do this. Now, it's, it's going to be like you can do some pretty crazy plot sizes, kind of like this. Well, this is not pretty. See how it's angular like this and there's a bunch of different housing plots? It says that I can't actually do that. <laughs> so that's how that works anyway. Right now, I'd just rather use the square zone, I think. Uh, and we'll go ahead and set this just like this and we'll make it about yay big. So there's starting to be some icons that pop up in our thriving little city of Cobbledon. So you can see here, it looks like cash flow is down right here. Um, some of the things that we can look at are the characteristics of specific areas. Uh, this is green grocers. Profitability is green. Level of activity is green. Taxes, 45 credits. Tax satisfaction. Uh, this actually looks pretty good. Uh, shops building that's providing. Let's take a look at some of these uh, things here. So we can open the population panel and look at some statistics. Uh, it looks like there's available jobs 29%. And satisfaction of everything is just about uh, maxed out. So we can probably afford a little bit more uh, residential area. So let's just do one more square zone right here. Just like that. And we can actually start doing like some decoration and things of that nature too. Let's do some decoration and see areas. We can do decorations construction site. That's not a that's not pretty. Um, Let's see, of plaza between two roads. I think that's pretty cool. Let's do that. Okay, that's a plaza. That looks actually really, really nice. I like that. I uh, wonder if we can do that here as well. We sure can. There's two plazas. Okay. Oh, and that's cool too. You can make it relatively big, those things. What about creation of a park? And you can only do that between two roads, I guess. Let's do one more residential area here. Um, commerce. Housing, there we go. We skilled workers. Ah, oh, we can start putting a little bit of skilled workers in. Okay, let's go for some single zones here. And let's see. If we manage the single zones, we can put them accordingly uh, at different places. These will be a little bit nicer plots. So we'll give them some access to the street corner here. Okay, and we'll put a couple more roads that go between here. Um, where are roads? That's industry. Transportation. Okay, we also have bridges. Straight road. Eight orientation roads. Uh, let's see. What can we do? We can put a roundabout as well. Uh, that's pretty cool. Can we just put it on top? No, not really, huh? We could have done this in the corner, most likely. Uh, let's just do straight road for now. And we're going to put that right on this side. Just like that, we're going to surround these houses with roads. That gives us a little bit more residential area. We're going to bring this all the way down. And we're actually going to intersect it here, bring it down this way, and voila. Now we can actually do another decoration here. We'll come back and let's select something different this time. Let's see. A posh plaza. This is a park. And this is... What is this? Allows the creation construction site of two roads. That's a construction site. Okay, let's just do park. Boom. Areas are not enclosed by roads. Uh, I thought it was, but <laughs> fair enough. We won't need to be enclosed by roads. Oh, we could do a large park area too. Um, okay, let's actually go back to commerce. 
So now let's see what we can create. We have the, the option to do hotels. Uh, there's a small hotel that we can build. Let's go ahead and build one. We're going to build one, I guess, in this corner of town. And now we have business hotels and holiday hotels. And we're going to build a holiday hotel. Holiday hotels, they're kind of in the same areas, but I don't know what areas they service. Let's see, small hotel, uh, 800 credits, or uh, they're both a few high-quality bedrooms. Okay, so we'll do small hotel. We'll do small hotel like that. Ooh, wow. I can't do that yet, I don't guess. Okay, I could place one of these. That's good. Um, let's place one at the end right here. Okay, and we're going to put a little bit of commerce on the sides of it. So let's go to, um, we won't, well, can we do, there's heavy industry available. Actually, you know what? We won't do heavy industry yet. Let's go back to commerce and select retail, low density. And I'm going to select some square zones right here for retail. And that way they can service these areas of the of like the, the residential areas. OK, and then we're going to do some single zones. We'll do single zone right here, single zone right here. And then we'll go into heavy industry. Let's see, where is the heavy industry? There it is. And we'll do single zones for that as well. We'll do one. We'll do one right here. That'll be a little bit away from the residential, right? And there'll be two of these. And I think that will work. Let's get some roads in between those. And then we can stop and look at our progress here. So let's see. Transportation is what I'm after. Uh, we'll do a small... Can we do a roundabout here? That would be pretty neat if we can. Curved roads. Orientation roads. Let's see. Let's try our roundabout right here. We sure can, but it's not quite far enough. Actually, let's do, I don't know if there's any good place for a roundabout here. <laughs> no, that's not a good place. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel that. Oh, no, we're gonna need to bulldoze it now. Let's bulldoze. Oh, there we go, wow. <laughs> that was a big bulldoze area. Okay, let's just go with normal roads again. Um. Transportation, roads, all right. So we can start from here and we can run it right here, 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 and here. All right, now we'll select that and we'll do some of those decorations that we talked about first. Um, decoration, there's con some construction zone right here. That's probably a good area to make that around the other industry. And something went wrong with the hotels. Okay, what's going on with the hotels? Something went wrong with the hotels. Area not enclosed by roads. I'm wondering why. Okay, how can I... Let's deselect this and see what's going on with that. Okay, hotels aren't working well. There seems to be a problem. Click here if you want to close. Uh, okay, I'm not too sure why. Uh, maybe we don't have enough commerce in that area. Factories, general satisfaction is 30%. The situation is bad. You should address it. Okay, how do we do that? Uh, there's no manufacturing in the city. Heavy industry is setting up. There aren't enough workers in heavy industry. There are, there are no food industries in the city. There's no high-tech industry in the city. Heavy industry is having trouble. Okay, so there's quite a few things that we do need. Let's take a look here and see some of the things that we can do. It looks like we can make something in the food industry. So we could select agricultural areas. We can select, oh, that's a nice one. Oh, wow. Those are just really, really big, aren't they? Try placing, trace the perimeter around clicking several times. Feel too small. I see. So we need to make a rather large field here. That's the deal. Field too large. Okay. Okay, this looks good. That's going to be our field. All right. Now we have it working. Finally. Okay. 
So that's something that we needed. We already started heavy industry. How about offices? So we should be able to place a few offices here. Uh, let's do a linear zone along the road. And we'll set it up right here. That'll be a bunch of offices. Uh, is that is that where we want it? Right click to cancel. Hold on. Let's see. There we go. There's some offices placed. Okay, what else do we need? There's commerce. Uh, we've already got hotels, holiday hotels, low density, utilities. Utilities are being... Utilities are good right now. Decorations. Looks like landmarks. Okay, those are something that, that could be useful. Um, but right now we don't need that. Let's see. More housing is needed for skilled workers. Okay, let's do that. We can go back to housing and go for skilled workers. And let's do a big zone of this. Let's do square zone. And we'll square it off right here. Oh, wow. So we'll need to do we'll definitely need to do some roads here. All right. So we've got a couple roads that go there. That's fine. Uh, let's do transportation. And we'll connect some of the roads again. Hmm. Industry, commerce. <laughs> I'm going to get this down sooner or later, guys. Road. We'll select the road from there to there. That's good. All right. Now, how's some of our things going? Let's see. Oh, no, that's not what we want. Okay, let's let's check out some of our things. Factories. General satisfaction is zero. Okay, there is no manufacturing in the city. Okay, that's one thing that we do need, manufacturing right away. There aren't enough workers for the heavy industry. So we'll need to do, I guess, some regular housing again. And we'll see with low density, we'll stay with unskilled workers. And it looks like some of the offices are coming up, so that's good. Uh, let's do square zone again, and we'll do a large area here. Just like that. All right, and what is all these? Is there not enough? There we go. Ah, now we're starting to fill up some of those jobs. So that's what we needed. There we go. Now we're going to start giving a little bit of, uh, of work. <laughs> that should work. So as far as the game is concerned, I really think it's a great game. A lot of the city building characteristics that I'm familiar with from older games like the original Sim Cities and stuff are in place. Uh, all the menus are very well organized and everything is very, very customizable. You can move things around and the graphics are totally amazing. And again, if I mentioned it already, the music is absolutely stellar when you start playing this game. The vibe that it sets is just spectacular. Um, all of the graphics and the views and some of the things that you can see, like the, the, the passing traffic and the citizens and stuff like that, which I have yet to show, uh, is really, really cool. It, games, it gives the game a lot of life, and I think this could be one of the better city-building games that I've ever seen. So that is going to wrap it up for my first impressions video of Cities XXL. I hope you guys really enjoyed the first-hand impressions, and make sure to check out the links below for all of the pertinent information and where to get the game. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.